Hello, Davenport, Toronto. I'm Julie Zerowitz, your Member of Parliament, and this is my weekly video for the week of April the 5th. The House of Commons is not in session this week, so there's no news from the Hill. Although I suspect most Davenport residents are very focused on what's happening here in Toronto. Uh, we're undergoing the third wave, and I think we're all you know, just trying to settle into another 28 day lockdown and uh, making sure that we're up to date on the vaccination uh, sort of rules. So just to let you know, in case you don't know, uh, if you are 16 over, uh, you can sign up through the Ontario vaccination site. If you are uh, 55 plus uh, and you want, you're okay to, to get your uh, vaccine at a local pharmacy, you can also sign up on the Ontario vaccination website. And finally, if you happen to uh, be 50 and over and live in the following two postal codes, M6K and M6N, those are in the Davenport writing. There's lots of other postal codes, but they're outside of the Davenport writing. But if you live in M6K or M6N postal codes, you can actually uh, also uh, get vaccinated at Unity Health St. Joseph's Hospital. So just put in Unity Health St. Joseph's Hospital into Google and you'll be able to get information there. Uh, to update you, uh, 10 million uh, vaccines have been delivered by the federal government to provinces and territories. 4 million of that has gone to Ontario, and Ontario has uh, put in, um, uh, uh, given uh, 2.5 million uh, jabs into Ontarians' arms. So there's 1.5 million out there. So if you haven't had a chance to sign up, please do so now if you're able to do so. We are on track to receive another 6 million vaccine doses by April 19th. So that is in less than two weeks. Um, and so I think that vaccines are coming uh, fast and strong now. Uh, and I'm really hoping that uh, that if you are able to, to, to be vaccinated, that you do sign up. Um, the Prime Minister mentioned earlier today that the last installment of the Safe Restart Agreement has been sent to the provinces. So we sent $19 billion to provinces to help them with vaccinations, additional costs at hospitals, with additional PPE costs. And it's also to pay for sickness benefits. So in Ontario, there is no sec uh, provincial sickness benefit, but the pr pr federal government does have a program. It's called the uh, Canada um, sickness benefit, you can receive up to four weeks of sickness benefit. Um, and it takes three to five days from when you apply for the money to actually get into your bank account. So if you are would like to apply or want more information, please go to my website, juliezerrods.ca or call me at 416-654-8048. So if Ontario, Ontario does not offer a sickness benefit, but the federal government does, and if you are sick and you need to stay home and you have to get tested or you don't feel well, you can apply for the sickness benefit. 416-654-8048. Um, maybe just one more thing uh, and a sad thing to end off on. It is the third anniversary of the Humboldt uh, bus crash. It is where uh, three years ago, 16 uh, young Canadians lost their lives. Uh, and I believe 13 were injured. Um, you know, we're all thinking about Humboldt, Saskatchewan today. We're all standing in grief with the community who's still trying to heal three years later. Uh, we will not forget them. And so I just want to mark that anniversary. Anyways, everyone, please keep safe and have a wonderful week. If there's anything else my team or I can do to serve you, please feel free to call uh, our office at 416-654-8048 or... Uh, email me at julie.zerowitz at parl.gc.ca. Thanks so much. Have a great week.